Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, January 16th, 2019. I'm Casey Moulton. The oceans are getting warmer. We'll tell you about it. And I'm Brian Daniels. The, the West Coast is getting hammered with storms. The news is next. to see your Wild Pride dancers and Wildcat wrestlers take on Nampa. That's right, it's a dance-off WrestleMania. This is part of a school tradition and you'll want to be there. Don't miss the action, that's right after school. There's free t-shirts for the first 100 students. You have seen them in the movies and now they're here. And the cafeteria offers vending machine meals. Stop by, check them out, and get yours today. Want to know what the STEM Academy is all about? Come to the STEM Expo tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Students will be giving TED Talks on innovation and student work will be on display. This is your chance for parents and students to see what's going on. The Red Cross will be here in the annual Winter Blood Drive on J Thursday, January 22nd. If you're interested in donating any, uh, doing this for a worthy cause, please sign in for an appointment in A143 in Mr. Dion's room through this week. Teachers, it's that time again. Grades for semester one are due January 23rd at 3 p.m. Have your grades either printed and turned in, or you can email Mrs. Fisher a copy of your grades if you don't want to print them. Check your email for more details if you need them. If you need time for time, talk to Mr. Gantz or Mr. Diplock immediately. Reminder, if you have the NCA for any of your grades, this means you will not be getting credit and you'll be do needing time for time to qualify for it. Broadcasters, photographers, and interested students, there is a Skills USA meeting in Mr. Allen's room on Thursday during advisory. Talk to Mr. Moffitt or Mr. Allen if you have any questions. Today's activity is Beauty and the Beast right after school. Attention students, winter is coming so make sure you are prepared. When driving, adapt and adjust to road conditions to ensure you and your friends are safe. Keep extra supplies in your car just in case. It is also important you dress appropriately with warm clothes for winter conditions. Expect the unexpected. Be prepared. Hygiene is a necessary attribute of a daily routine for people. If you do not wash your hands before you eat, you increase the risk of getting a stomach flu. A number of infectious diseases can be spread from one person to another by contaminated hands. These diseases include infections such as coliform, salmonella, staphylococcus, hepatitis A, and influenza. Washing your hands properly can help prevent the spread of those nasty diseases. Do not forget to do such a simple task and wash your hands every time before you eat if you do not want to get infected. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make yours a great one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today we can expect a high of 43 degrees and a low of 30. Tomorrow, a high of 50 and a low of 35. Back to you, Brian. Last year was the hottest for the planet's ocean since global rec records began in 1958. According to an international team of scientists who tracked the data, their findings were published Wednesday in the scientific journal Advances of Astrophysics Sciences. The year 2018 passes in the previous record is set just the year before in 2017. The top five years of oceans he have come since the last five years. The la last year's continuous standing trends of global warming is that the direct result of human warming of the planet, the author says. Big Pacific storms are set to dump up to two meters of snow in California's Sierra Nevada mountains and several inches of rain elsewhere in the state, forcing evacuations in areas at risk to mudslides. The first storm moved over Southern California on Tuesday, with rainfall of up to three inches expected in parts of Los Angeles and Ventura County and up to 4.5 inches in the Santa Monica Mountains, the National Weather Service reported. Fearing mudslides, civil authorities have ordered evacuations in areas hit hard by wildfires. The SAT word today is kismet, which means fate. That you could use it this way: when you're when asked by how he met grandma, grandpa would often say kismet. That's that, the news. Thanks for watching, and remember, live, live the, the wildcat wild way. way.